Namaste everyone, I'm Anjan Shrestha and today we're going to build rating stars using symbols in a sketch. Let's say we have an app called Red Them Series. This app helps you to rate the series, rate some of the series that we're going to list here. And for that we have the name of the app here thumbnail of a series, the title of the series, of this series. The simple solution to build rating stars would be to just grab a star from here. I'm going to create 24 by 24 pixels make sure that these are aligned properly yeah. we're going to remove the border fill it with yellow and since we're going to rate it on five out of five we're going to repeat these stars we are five stars and change the last one to white and thus our rating stars are ready but the thing with this is that this is not future proof for example a client or our product manager can come in and say hey I don't really like the number of points in these stars because well five is not <laughs> their lucky color apparently and seven is their lucky number so what we will do is change the number of points in this particular star change to seven and then we'll have to change the number of points for all of these stars so it's seven now this might seem easy right now but imagine the number of series we're going to list here and after we've shown the design to the client and after we've received that particular feedback about number of points Think about all the pain that we have to go through of selecting all the stars and individually changing its number here. Or let's say they don't really like the color yellow, they want a color, for example, pink. And then we have to select all of the stars and change into pink. Or the client may come back again and say that, hey, I might have miscommunicated I actually like only five points in a star. I don't know, maybe. <laughs> but the thing is, this is not future proof. You get my point. Okay, let's move ahead. I'm going to remove all of these stars and we're going to draw symbols. Now, for that, first of all, we're going to draw the star shape again. Uh, let's draw that 24 by 24 pixel star let's align it let's zoom it remove the border change this color to yellow and we're going to turn this into a symbol so we can go ahead and click here or I have built a shortcut key it's command shift C and we're going to name this rating star press OK and here's our symbol if we double tap it or double click it we'll be taken to that particular symbol space and it's artboard and here's our symbol ready so we can go ahead and duplicate all of these shapes this shape not all of this shape this particular shape and repeat it four times and we have our rating stars but the thing with this is now if we have to change the color of this last star like we did earlier we'll have to create another symbol here because if we change the color of this symbol here it will affect all of our stars we certainly don't want this right then what we'll have to do is duplicate this star and create a new symbol 
turn it into white go in our page and choose a different symbol for this last star now this is not again future proof because if we go back to our analogy of changing the number of points in star we have to still select these two stars and take it into seven go back and check yeah it's seven stars so this is pain as well we're going to do something else we're going to remove this new symbol yeah and we're going to uh, create a new layer inside our original rating star symbol a square layer a rectangle layer and paint this yellow we are going to name this layer sorry something happened okay I'm really sorry we're going to rename this layer called color and we're going to remove fill color from our star shape and mask our color layer with the shape of our star and visually it doesn't it looks same as the one that we did earlier but now we have a special power a superpower and what we're going to do now is turn the color layer of this symbol into a new symbol so we're going to call it color slash primary let's say that yellow is the primary color of our app and if we just zoom out so we have a new symbol color slash primary ready here and if we just check if we just change the color of this layer here it changes accordingly in our symbol as well let's change this back to yellow and i guess you know by now what i'm going to do is i'm going to duplicate this symbol bring it here and change the color of this yellow into white and rename this new symbol as color slash light now if we go back we can see that nothing has changed however if we look in here we have a new panel called overrides now this helps us to override a symbol that was used in this rating star symbol so what this is telling us is hey there's another symbol inside the rating star symbol would you like to switch this symbol with any other symbol and those any other symbol all are listed here I can go ahead and select color slash light and now if I go here and change the shape of our star go back everything is changed the color still remains the same and thus our rating star is future proof but we're going to do one more thing and that thing is first of all we're going to select our rating star artboard and rename the color layer color slash primary layer into something called color and next thing that we're going to do is if we look at the override panel here we're getting other symbols apart from these symbols so these symbols here that you see here these things that you see here so these are called sketch libraries and if you're not familiar with library what this does is these are separate sketch documents which contain these symbols right and we can import these libraries these sketch files as libraries into our sketch app document if you just search for sketch libraries uh, you'll understand what I mean here okay but in our case 
we don't really need we would never need to override our color layer with these other symbols right so we only need these two so what we're going to do is go back to our symbol in fact go to our color symbol and change the size of the artboard of our symbol we're going to change it into a very uh, into a size that we feel that is not we're not going to use this particular size for any other artboard here right we're going to change the size for our color slash light symbol it's 27 by 27 pixels and we're going to also change the size of the layer inside of our color symbol we hit save we go back and if we see the overrides menu now panel now we only have to uh, sim override symbols so you might have understood what is going on here the override section it searches it searches for only those symbols that matches the dimension of the nested symbol that uh, we're, we have used in here and these are only two of those symbols that have the exact dimension of the uh, symbol that we have nested inside the rating star symbol here let's create a new symbol uh, let's say a shape like this Zip like this, uh, group it, uh, create symbol. Let's not worry about the name right now. Go in here and change the artboard width and height to 27 by 27 pixel. Let's call it extra for our extra symbol. And if we check in our rating star symbol we have three overrides so since this has the same width and height this symbol this new symbol has the same width and height of our color symbols which are nested in here it tries to suggest us say hey, maybe you want to override with this symbol as well but we don't need this we're simply going to delete this from here and delete this new group that is formed here and thus our future proof rating star is ready now if the client says hey i just wanted five points i might have miscommunicated so you go back to your star no problem to five and everything is now good looking five pointed star and again if the if the client says hey i really like starfish can you make it look like starfish well you go sure why not so you hit the edit mode you can simply select the star and hit enter or you can select the star and click here and edit you drag and select all of these points and change the corner radius for all of these points one seems fine and this looks like a very cute starfish. Now I have now this is how our app might look like with the number of series added. So we're simply going to select all of these stars. If you have something called sketch select plugin, it helps to select all of these stars uh, by the name of by the name of it's layer and you can select all of those all of these stars very easily with that plugin so we have selected all of our stars right click replace with symbols rating star and simply select those stars that we want to turn white go here and override the color and our 
Read Them series app looks ready, ready to be shipped. And just one more thing. Uh, let's let's try one last thing here. Let's uh, disable uh, these stars. Make it look like they are disabled. Uh, if we double click this, go to our light color symbol here and change the opacity of this particular layer or the fill opacity to let's say 20 and if we go back well yeah yeah this looks good yep this looks good so yes so yes we're going to end it here we're not going to mess around the design anymore now and there's our Red Them series app so yes I just wanted to highlight the importance of uh, the color symbol in this particular uh, episode and you can use this particular technique for icons as well uh, for for the icons for for the for all of those icons where you want uh, the same shape of the icon but uh, want to have them in uh, different colors in varying colors in uh, different places in, in inside your sketch document so you can use this very trick uh, there as well so that's it guys for today thank you so much for watching this episode uh, i hope you like it please uh, if you have anything to say uh, please leave a comment any feedback and if you like this channel, uh, please subscribe to my channel as well. Thank you guys. Cheers.